Hello everyone, I hope you've all been keeping well. It's been a difficult time for myself, so I'm just going to keep this video really simple right now. I lost my furry little boy, Simba. He was a blessing to us for 19 years. He was almost 19. And so I'm going to just make a very simple vegan dish called Sirniki. In the Jewish tradition, when a family member passes, a close family member, usually there's a shiva and people come over and bring food. Well, it may not be the same when it comes to a furry family member. And so you kind of have to cope in a different way. So this meal is meant for those who are mourning or, you know, you're not feeling too energetic to make a big, huge, fancy dish. The ingredients are very simple and it's not too filling and it's not too light it's just right so like when you're when you're feeling down it's not good to overeat and some people have a tendency to do that and also some people do the opposite when they're feeling down they just don't eat at all now, fasting is good every now and then but um, you don't want to overdo it you want some balance so I find that this this dish is really simple, well balanced, and it will leave you feeling satisfied and it's not, not too much work involved. As for the sauce, you can either make the sauce or just use jam pretty much. So it's kind of sweet and sour mixture type of dish. This is the delicious serniki we're going to be making today. So we just put one and a half cups of cashews in this dish and we have some hot water, not boiling hot, but we're going to just make sure they're coated. We'll just give it a little stir. And we'll leave that there for an hour. And we can turn it around halfway through in case some pieces are sticking up a little bit, but it should be fine. I washed a bunch of cherries here and I'm just going to pit them. You don't have to do this step if you're using jam or a pre-made cherry sauce. I'm just doing it because I feel like it. <laughs> but if you don't even have the energy for that, just go ahead and use some jam or cherry sauce. This board is gonna get quite messy, so we'll have to give it a wipe quickly immediately after doing this. So pretty much you just want to squish it down. There's also special uh, tools for pitting cherries. A cherry pitter. <laughs> Simple press with a knife works. You probably don't want to wear white for this process though. The darker colors are advisable. Oops. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? It's splattering everywhere. Well, the cashews are soaking, you can go ahead and do other things too. Like uh, do a face mask or whatnot. Watch a quick episode of something. the rest I'm going to snack on. Now it's time for me to take off this shiny face mask and I'll wash my hands and get right back to it. So we'll just need a half a cup of the white rice flour and two tablespoons extra. We want three tablespoons of cornstarch and half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're just going to strain the cashews. You don't 
gonna get three tablespoons of lemon juice. And we're gonna use some maple syrup, only five tablespoons. And we're just gonna put in a pinch of salt. Okay, one more pinch. What we're going to do is blend up our softened cashews with our maple syrup lemony mixture here in our food processor. You can probably use a Vitamix easily as well. So I have this cheesecloth here, I cut a piece out, and what we're going to do is just simply, okay, so make sure it's, we don't want it too thick and we don't want it too thin, we want it just right. Okay, here we go. So, I'll just scoop all of our mixture in here. You want to try to get it all together. So we'll just take this and give it a nice squeeze so that it's nicely bundled together. We're going to let it strain in the fridge, okay? So we want to just make sure there's something underneath it to collect the water and you want to make sure that there's enough room in your fridge as well. So I'm just gonna use this and I'll probably have to shift a few things around. I'm just gonna make myself a snack while that stuff is in the fridge. Our vegan cheese is in the fridge. Some organic peanut butter, which doesn't have any of that icing sugar crap in it. It's not all natural. should get a plate we're getting messy here that's how a human does it okay this is gonna be a messy one I'm just gonna get some lemon juice here Should be enough. Just get some sugar here. And then just mix in a little bit of water here. I'm gonna have some uh, water with some cornstarch set aside just in case we need to thicken it as well. So we'll just put our cherries in here. Water, sugar water and I just dissolve the rest of the sugar with the lemon juice here so put it in mixer so we'll go ahead and mix our ingredients here so we have our flour mixture we'll take our um, vegan cheese out of the cheesecloth. There we go. So I'm going to pour in a quarter cup of maple syrup here. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just going to use this fork to mix it all in. Thank you. 
paper and scrape them all. The interesting thing about this recipe is that sour cream is used. So you got that sweetness and that sourness and then the little bit of tartness from the lemon in there. So uh, as simple it is, as it is, it has some interesting flavors. I think I'll put it in the center and then we can mix it in as we go. There we go. And I'm not going to personally add maple syrup because there's enough maple syrup as it is in there. And we have our cherry sauce as well, so I think that's good enough. Our cherry sauce. I didn't want it to be too thick, but it's just thick enough here. Like I said, you can use jam or just berries if you want to keep it simple or buy your own cherry sauce as well. There we go. Here we are going to try the vegan serendiki for the very first time. Hmm. That's impressive. It's really tasty mm -hmm. and unique. Mm -hmm. I never tried the non-vegan serendiki. And this one is really delicious, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like I said, it's, um, it's comforting, not too heavy, not too light. I think it's just right. Mm -hmm. And it has a very simple ingredients, and you can simplify it even more if you like. And feel free to try like the vegan version of a goat cheese because pretty much that's what you would use if you don't want to make your own vegan cheese to make it even more simple. Let me know how you make out. Comment down below. Feel free to share your thoughts or any special requests that you may have. I appreciate all your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Have a great one.